Good evening. I want to thank you for allowing me to be myself. Thank you so much. How are you this evening? I want to say thank you for allowing me to always be my true self. And it just feels fabulous that I can actually come here and spend time with you. I'm doing floor exercises. If you'd like to join, always ask your doctor or your personal trainer first, please, before you copy anything on videos or the internet or read an article. Always ask your doctor or your physical therapist or your trainer, personal trainer, before you do any kind of exercise that you see online. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm on the floor, as you could tell, and I have a nice area here. I wanna add some aromatherapy, and I have a video about aromatherapy. By the way, I'm Corinne, and thanks for being here. I really appreciate you a lot. Okay, so I got the Ling, Actually, the Lang Lang. All right. Now, this is essential oil, so I'm not going to mix it with anything. I just want to put it on. And if you missed the very beginning of this video, I thanked you for allowing me to be me. A few drops of essential oil. I'm not putting it on me. I am clearing the energy. And it's very clear. I feel it. Even the light here is beautiful. Thanks for allowing me to be my true self here on the internet. It's awesome. And if I feel like crawling around, then so be it. How are you? Hey, I saw the musical. I've always wanted to be a four-legged animal actually i used to crawl around but i already told you that if you saw one of my videos you heard me say that i like to crawl around as a child and first i was a cat and then i turned into a dog and then i decided to be a human but every now and then i like to retreat back to when i crawl like a cat so right now is like close to that because you're grounding yourself. Now we have animals and creatures and we have humans and we probably do have Martians. And we have two legs and two arms as humans. And we have technically four limbs. Well, the animals are referred to as four-legged animals. And so who's to say that we weren't intended to actually crawl around sometimes? And I know that I've spent a lot of my life crawling around, even as an adult, on stage. And I feel that that is the most comfortable position. But right now, we don't want to just get into that position. We want to be in more like a relaxed, where we're holding our shoulders straight and... I like to show you that way you can see so my shoulders are back and even if you have to put your arms back go ahead and hold yourself back and now just take your hands and pull in your ankles So it's interesting that there's animals and humans and anything else that we've proven, mammals. Let's not forget the ocean. You want to set your intention to heal. So I am healing and I am sitting in a position where I feel like I could get more comfortable as time goes by. So if I pull in, and you could switch up too because you want to be comfortable. So you could bring your ankles in and 
you can find your center and then you can put your hands up. So you're like, put them up and back and that'll throw your shoulders back and you can hold that position. Thinking about the ocean. You can think about peaceful things. And you can work on your posture. And then you can put your hands back and throw your pectorals out into the sky and hold. I feel that in my lower legs. I feel it here. I feel it here, down here, like. Let's get some more Lang Lang. So this is the essential oil, and I put it on a couple of Kleenexes and just wave it. I feel it cleaning the air. You can also use it on yourself, but it's pure oil, so you want to mix it with another base. So I won't be using this one, but you, it smells like so good. Like you could also pour it in bath water. And yes, I did have a gorgeous bath today, and I have been doing my exercising, my stretcher sizing in the tub. So that's awesome. And I feel so much better. I'm reaching up and holding. Notice I'm keeping my posture straight and to help my posture, I'm going to reach back and aim the pecs, which are your pectoral muscles, up into the sky. A little bit of a back arch and bend your neck back and hold that position and look up. You notice I hold for a nice long time? Great. Now I want to stretch out a little bit, so I'm going to put both legs out in front of me and I'm going to stretch towards my ankles and hold. And then I'm gonna reach back and then go a little further this time and hold. And then I'm gonna come back to the normal position. So now I feel strain here. So I'm going to open up into the yoga position again and just work on the posture again. So again, I'm placing my hands on the floor and I'm putting my shoulders back and just looking up. It's a little bit of a back stretch and it's stretching the neck too. So now you can bring your hands exactly just on your knees and now you could just relax your neck, like look down. You don't always have to have your legs pulled in all the way. Reach up and hold. Reach forward, reach out. Put your arms down by your side and rest your forearms just in your lap. So just go ahead and rest. And now put the shoulders back. And now you're holding your, your back straight. So this should train your back. The more you do this, the more your body will become this. 
So I would rather have a pasture like this than like that, you know, because it's more like get your center, like find, like move your butt around and like get your legs and bring them all the way in towards your self and put your arms straight in front of you like the zombie. And now reach all the way up and reach and reach and reach. You could even look up now. And now move that head circular, bring those arms down, rest those forearms in your lap. So move that head circular. So start by looking down. And now pick a side. So start rotating like the clock. And do two full rolls. The other day I did three. Make sure you're relaxing your arms in your lap. And now look down again and now go the opposite way. Roll like a clock. Now bend forward, just put all your weight like straight down. Release, release your energy into the floor. You don't have to hold your energy, it'll still be there. So you could let it go because if you let all your energy go, then it comes back. But if you're holding on to stale energy, then it'll always be there. But if you let go, then whatever is about to happen will happen. So legs straight out and let go. Going forward, so you're bending towards your ankles. You're reaching your fingers towards your toes and you're holding. Reach more, touch your toes. Reach up, posture. Put those shoulders all the way back and roll them. Roll, roll. Roll, roll. Relax your forearms. Roll, roll. Roll, roll. Roll, roll. roll. Ready? Roll, 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 roll. Now do two. Roll, 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 roll. Reach up, look up, hold, reach, hold, reach, reach and reach. Keep reaching. Reach. Everything's in the body, nothing's in the mind. Right now it's in the body. It takes it from the mind. Because all the time we are thinking. So instead of thinking, we're allowing ourselves to feel our existence, our body. We can feel our body and we are putting our body to new heights. We're extending our limbs. We're relaxing our mind. We're dropping our forehead in towards our knees, slowly rolling, reach for the toes. Forehead to the knees. It won't really happen, it might if you're a ballerina or an extreme athlete, your, your forehead could probably just go straight to your knees, but that's the direction. Point your forehead to your knees, reach your hands straight out, touching your toes. You're submitting, you're submitting to the moment.
Relax the mind. Reach, reach to new heights. Hold. Healing energy, pure energy, white light. Healing energy, happiness. Hey guys, how's that for a little leg workout? So there's more and I'll get you next time. I'm gonna go cool off and love you very much.